Hello, I'm Jim Baker, Interim Superintendent of the Huron Valley Schools. This year's election is not far away. And while most of the attention in this election cycle is focused on the office of the president, there's an extremely important local issue on the ballot as well. Huron Valley Schools will ask voters to consider support for renewal of its non-homestead millage. Non-homestead taxes represent 18 mills paid by owners of commercial and industrial property and second homes. If you own a single residence in the Huron Valley Schools, you do not pay this tax. So there is no tax for homeowners and no tax increase for businesses. Once again, this is a renewal of what property owners have previously been paying. The 18 mills represent approximately 10% of the Huron Valley Schools budget, or just over $9 million. This is equivalent to what it costs to operate either Milford or Lakeland High School annually. To lend even more perspective, we spend about $2.4 million annually on transportation and around $800,000 on athletics. So you can see that finding $9 million in a budget that has already been trimmed more than $30 million since the 2003-2004 school year would be extremely difficult to say the least. Therefore, I'm asking you to very carefully consider your decision on this renewal when you go to the polls or when completing your absentee ballot. There's just one more thing of which you should be aware. This year's ballot is an extremely long one due to federal, state, and local seats up for grabs, as well as six ballot initiatives. The question about our millage renewal is absolutely last on the ballot, so I'm urging you to vote on Tuesday, November 6th, and I'm encouraging you to complete the entire ballot. Thank you for your continued support of the Huron Valley Schools. If you have any questions about the non-homestead millage renewal, please check out our website at www.hvs.org.